Hey guys, today we are going to talk about should you buy Commander Anthology, which is releasing June 9th at your local game store. This is a product that will not be available in Walmart, Target, or Barnes & Noble. It will just be a local game store product. The MSRP is $164.99, but you should realize that although stores will try to sell it for more, you can get it probably for under the MSRP. You should never pay for more than the MSRP for this particular product. We have some products to look at that are way under MSRP. Uh, dual decks anthologies, as well as plain chase anthologies, which done did incredibly poor. So I'm assuming you can buy this for $165. I will go over the valuable cards in each of the decks and the price point of a sealed product of that deck. If you are interested in EDH and you want just fun decks to play with your friends, this is the ideal thing. Now, the problem the other anthologies have is there's not value in it. The reason that Plain Chase Anthology tanked was people were saying, oh, the Plain Chase cards, the, the, uh, the, what's it called? The big cards. Oh, they're like a dollar or two. And when you combine them all, no one wants those cards. Like no one wants them. They want something that is small that you can actually put in a deck. Like I know that some people were saying those uh, Plain Chase large, pl oh, they're, obviously they're called Plains cards. I forgot what it was called. There's planes that they're all worth two to five dollars a piece. And it's like, who's gonna pay two to five dollars? Who's like buying this? And that's one of the crazy parts that I have really I don't like that MTG Finance makes it seem like everything is liquid. And I can tell you from personal experience, if you own a hundred Norwales, maybe you sell two play sets, but that's about it. Yeah, the Norwales on the website says it's like two bucks, but what are you going to do with your Norwales? No one wants them. And that is the same with these planes. Who is going to buy a single plane when you can buy the whole anthology set for way discounted? Okay, that rant, let me uh, move away from that rant because I have very, uh, very intense feelings where MTG Finance does not take how liquid a card is. Or when someone says, I'm going to buy 200 copies of a card, or I bought 200 copies of a card, and now I'm amazing. Buying 200 copies of a card is insanely difficult. You have to buy from dozens of stores. You have to worry about dozens of shipping, dozens of tracking. It's not easy to do. And then should you have to sell it out to 20 people, one out of those 20 people will try to scam you, at least. And the one out of maybe... A hundred people will lose, will actually, the post office will actually lose the package. So you're not, you're not looking at a good scenario. Profit mark plus the time, the time it takes you to respond to emails, the time it takes you to get that good feedback. It's really difficult. Okay, let's start with Heavenly Inferno. This one is $180 unopened. So it makes up the price of the entire anthology set. And that's really important to know. The most expensive card in it is Kalia of the Vast, which is $37 as of today. It does have some good $4 cards. Like it looks like Anger is $350, uh, Mana Charge Dragon. Wow, I haven't seen that dragon in a while. I didn't realize it was in there. It's $4. Angel of Despair is free 50. Talia is free 78. A Chroma is in there. That's $3. Avatar of Slaughter. That's about $4. Dread Kako Demo. Demon. Kako Demo. And overall, it has a lot of really good value. Um, looking, scrolling. Oh, it's a Path to Exile is in the set as well. Why not? Uh, so Ring. Lightning Greaves. Oh, Stranglehold. Yeah, I remember that card. That is a $11.50 card today. So the value of this set is in a few cards. Stranglehold and probably Kalia of the Vast. The paper value, if you were to add everything together using TCG mids, if you were to open it, it would be $120. So unopened is $180. Open, it's $120. I think that's perfectly fine with the product being $165. 
because there's three other decks. And overall, you do get your value. That's one of the things that anthologies should have every time. They should have way more value than the MSRP because once it's printed, the cards will tank. Now, this is a very good way to get a Kalia. Kalia is very difficult to get. And this is, I don't see many in trade binders. It's not something I see every day. And it's something that is very elusive. So uh, Commander 2013 Evasive Maneuvers, unopened is $32. Opened it's $47. The main commander that you're seeing, Dev Ray, Imperial Tactician is only a dollar. So it's gonna be hard harder to find value here. You do have Angel of Finality. Wow, it's a beautiful angel. You should Google that one. That one's a pretty one. Um, and then you have Karmatic, Karmatic Guide. Karmic Guide, wow. And Bane of Progress. You have the Arcane Denial. And not much else. Oh, here, Thousand Year Elixir. I just talked about this card. This card used to be worthless. Now it's $5.50. You have your Soul Ring. So if anything, you can pick up another one of those. Presence of Gond. Wow, I did not realize Presence of Gond was in this deck, but very good common for a dollar 42 and you have the that's about it so this was not the best deck but you do get a lot of really good value cards in green blue oh you have a uh, loose trend scholar general these like portal free kingdom cards have just been reprinted like if a portal free kingdom card is in an edh commander set man Lucian the Scholar General was probably like a $50 card at one time. It's like 40 cents now. Mm. Oh, yeah, you have some good cards. They're just not very pricey. You have Pilgrim's Eye. You got this Elf. Deceiver Extract. Oh, Dungeon Geist is in here. Wonder. That's a really good one. Oh, a Zombie Lady of Scrolls is in this deck, but it's only worth 74 cents. Not the best. Uh, next, we will move on to a more expensive deck, which is the, what, what's this deck? Guided by Nature. Sealed, it is $65. Opened, it's $81. The most expensive card you have is the cover card, Fair Lease, at $12.63. That's good. That's a lot of good value. You have War Caller. At three thirty-six, you have Imperious Perfect. Oh wow, that's really gone down. One sixty-six, Lifeblood Hydra at three dollars, mm, and that's about it. Oh, here we have a uh, Soul Ring and Skull Clamp. Oh, this is where it is. Song of the Dryads. Two and a green enchant permanent. Enchanted permanent is a colorless forest land card. That card is worth $7.54. That is a lot of value that I did not realize was in the... Oh, and it has a very unique land called Myrid Landscape. Comes into play tapped. You add one to your mana pool. Two, sacrifice it. Search the library for up to two basic land cards. Okay, I can see why this is good. They share a land type. Put them onto your battlefield. Tap. Oh, you got to put them onto your battlefield. It's pretty good. Then shuffle your library. That is actually a very good card. It's two dollars and twenty cents. So overall, most of your value is going to be in so Ring and oh, the Renegade Leaders here, Azuri Renegade Leader. That's a five dollar card. Alvis Druid is a two thirty eight dollar card, and Priest of Titania. Okay, there's a lot more value here from the elves. I missed uh, a ton of these elf cards that are just valuable. So if you were to open it, you would get about $81 in paper, $64. So what value we're looking at is not these things sealed, which is good, but what, how much would it cost you to buy each of these cards? Not saying that this makes any sense, but overall that's what I'm calculating value based on. Next, Commander 2015, Plunder the Grave. The most expensive card in this set is Mirren of Clan Neltoff, the face card. It's about 10 bucks, $9.58. Unopened, this is $49. Opened, it's about 
$68. You have Eternal Witness here, which is a $5 card. Oh wow, here you have something called Blood Spore Finex. Two double green, Devour One. Is this a reprint? Devour One, huh, interesting. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional X. Oh, this is why. Okay, I see why. And there's no X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of plus one plus one counters on the Blood Spore Phoenix. Very, very good. That's a very good card. You also have, it looks like, Mizika Koro Death Priest, which is free, green, and a black. Legendary creature, Insect Shaman, flying. Whenever a player sacrifices another permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. The two two. Okay, I, I get what's going on. This is a deck that is based on plus one plus one counters. Now, if you have followed this channel at all, you can understand that plus one plus one counters are very, very good. And 88. And they're getting more and more support. Therefore, this is a very, very good deck. So Pathbreaker... Pathbreaker Ibex, oh, what's that Ibex? Is $4.60, that's a good card too. And you get your Skull Clamp and your Soul Ring. Oh wow, Adrazi Monument is in there. This is a very good, if you can find this in Walmart, buy this, just buy this, whatever this is. The Plunder the Grave. You have Adrazi Monument and you have Lightning Greaves, which is $4 and Dot Vessel. This is a very surprisingly valuable deck. And it has a lot of really good speculation targets that have plus one, plus one counter abilities. So overall, the answer is, should you buy this set? Yes. The reason you should buy it is the set sealed is worth it. And the set, more importantly, the set unsealed is worth it as well. If you were to open all of the things, assuming you're a new player and you just need a large collection of cards, this is a good way to do it. And I believe the value is there. The value is not gonna go substantially down. I, I guess it depends on a print run, but they picked really two two really fantastic decks. Heavenly Inferno, which I knew was very good, and then Plundered Plunder the Graves. No clue, but that deck seems like a deck that if you can find it at Target, Walmart, wherever, you need an instant buy it because it's a lot, it's very valuable if you would open it. And it has a lot of cards that interact well and are unique with plus one plus one abilities. Plus one plus one counter abilities, which you can understand for something like in the new EDH decks, everyone's playing that. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.